I haven't done any videos with making soft plastic lures yet. I really need to do that in this video. I've got a five gallon bucket of Plastisol, so I might as well use it. It's just been sitting there for like six months. I could do just your standard tadpole with the tail coming off, but that's kind of boring. So my thought was I'm gonna do some sort of developing tadpole, you know, mid metamorphosis, legs coming out, starts looking weird, but I'm not just gonna do a toad. I'm gonna do a salamander. I'm gonna make the toad tadpole too. Not because it's small, and it'll probably be my only chance of catching fish, but because it's cool. It's a cool lure. So you guys are gonna get a two for one in this video. So those are cut out. Now I'm just gonna clean up the shape a little bit. I don't have any tools that are small enough to do that for me, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. So I'm gonna have to make these two tadpoles with an open pour mold. That's gonna be a one piece, flat sided, mold but essentially what i'm trying to say is that i'm going to keep a flat side on both of these tadpoles and carve from there so this is going to be the bottom and that's what i'm going to carve off the top i'm just going to do that with a knife same thing for this one I need to look at a picture. So the legs on these little tadpoles, they're only on the bottom. So I'm kind of carving up the top here. That is some small carving. So the little tadpoles are roughly carved out. I gotta sand them smooth now. Now I'm gonna uh, get to work on the legs for the salamander. It's gonna have two up here, two back here.
That'll be the front legs. These will be the back. I need to go print off more of these. There's the skinny little undeveloped legs for the salamander. Now I just gotta clean those up and kinda glue them seamlessly into the body. These little pieces are so small, I can't really get a good grip on them to carve them. So I'm gonna do my best with a Dremel this time around. Tiny little hand. Just gonna do that for the rest of them. So there is everything. I suppose I have just a little bit of detailed carving and sanding to left to do. Maybe get something that looks like eyes on the front of the salamander's head. And uh, other than that, I'll just need to glue them legs in and give these baits a coat of polyurethane and they'll be ready for molding. <laughs> Last leg. There's the little tadpole too. All I need to do now is uh, put some polyurethane on both of these and they'll be ready to go in the mold tonight. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get these feathers on the salamander tadpole to actually show up after I mold the soft plastics, but I went for it anyway. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything, I don't think. It'll be really cool if I can like cut a line to them so I can open up the mold before I pour the soft plastics so I can actually get some plastic in there and mold them. That'd be cool. Hopefully I can get that to work. But I'm done carving on these. I'm gonna dip them in some polyurethane and be back tonight to put them in a mold. So there's the two baits all ready for molding, but now I got to put a box around both of these, then pour the silicone. That's a uh, polyester clay is what it's called, and I'm just using it along the border here to make a seal to this surface, so the silicone won't won't so the silicone won't roll so the silicone won't spill out when I pour it. So I'm just gonna mold these baits with some silicone. It's called RTV silicone. It can resist really hot temperatures and be used over and over again, in case I wanna make a lot of these. I was just stirring the silicone before I put the catalyst in it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I do sometimes. And I guess how much I need. Overshot it, but who cares? It's a 1 to 10 ratio.
This is a degasser vacuum. It's just going to get rid of all the bubbles in here. So now I just need to wait until tomorrow morning. I should be able to mold some of those tomorrow morning and go fishing. There's a hornet in the shop. Oh, it's a big one. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. See you tomorrow morning. I think it was a wasp. I tend to over exaggerate when I'm scared. <laughs> Trying to wait and see it leave or just at least make sure it's not in here still when I close up the shop I lost it oh it's up there it's the next day and now it's time to open up these molds the salamander's legs and stuff are just breaking off but that's pretty normal. Just gotta get it out. So now there's all of that flashing and kind of like film of silicone over the opening where I need to be pouring it. So I'm just gonna cut that off with a really sharp knife. And there's the tadpole. Super simple lure. So for the salamander bait, I've got these 1 16th ounce jig heads and I've cut some slots in the bottom of this mold. I'm just going to set it in before I mold. So then the plastic should just envelop all of that and it will be pre-rigged and already set inside of the soft plastic and ready to fish. Hmm, that's already a pretty good color. I have no idea how long this has been sitting in here, but I think I'm just going to heat this up. Uh, I got some heat stabilizer too. I'm gonna add it to that and make my first pour. I might need to make a pour and then not use it, just uh, pull it out and that way the mold heats up a little bit so the plastic can run, in there, run into all the crevices easier. So now I'm just heating the plastic up really slow in 15 second increments to get it to the right runny consistency. It's close. Probably one more. So I'm probably not going to be able to use that, but that definitely heated up the mold good enough to where I think the second pour will go good. I think for the second time around, I'm going to pour the arms first and then spread the tail and go up. I think that'll work good. This definitely isn't going to be professional results or like clean injection molding or anything, but I'm working with what I got. It looks like it filled out okay around the head. Even the arms are pretty well filled in. I just have all this overspill because the, uh, the I think the silicone is too cold and it, it stopped it from running nicely. But that'll work, let's try that again. I think I'm also gonna use a razor blade and skim it across the top this time to get rid of any extra. I think I'll be able to make that work. It wasn't pretty, but I think that came out fine. It's got all of the flashing on it still, but I'm gonna trim it up and show you guys what it's like. So there's the finished salamander. I even uh, I super glued some eyes onto the front too. Totally unnecessary, but a little extra detail never hurt. Hopefully on the retrieve, the tail has a bit of a flap.
that would be cool. That should catch some fish for sure. It's funny, you can see the, the painted jig head in there. I'm gonna mold uh, a few more colors of these and then I'm gonna go fishing. I just went out and I looked for the smallest jig heads I could possibly find. These are a 164th ounce. I'm gonna actually try to rig them inside of the uh, toad tadpole lure too. And I got some longer, thinner 116th ounce jigs for the salamander. I think those will work better. So I brought with me a couple different colors, both lures, and I got the, the gray salamander too. I figured this would be a good spot to start. I'll be fishing with the salamander first. Got something. I think it's a smallmouth. Yeah, it's a smallmouth. Oh, we spat it. This is the one with the uh, ball jig head on it, or inside of it. I kind of want to try out one with, uh, with the longer head that I molded. <clears throat> I'm seriously having to hide my disappointment about losing that smallmouth because that could be the only big fish in here and I just spooked it. Okay, I'm gonna tie on a toad because I'll be able to catch him with that for sure. Yep, yeah, this should work. I've actually used jig heads with nothing on them to catch chubs before and bluegill and that works, so this should definitely work. <laughs> Just need to be able to cast it. It's so small. That'll be the toughest part. Look at that. I just caught a baby largemouth and it looks really healthy. That's pretty cool. Really pretty too. Wow, get him back. That fish went after it hard. It beat all the others to it. So yeah, I caught a bass today. Not bad. That looks more like a chub, yeah. Wow, that one came from a long ways away to get it. Has a nice iridescent shimmer to it, that purple. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I've done it again. Another largemouth. That's cool to see. Healthy little largemouth in this little creek. I'm kind of looking for a mud shiner. I've caught one in here before. I think on video too. They're a really pretty fish. Whoa! Not bad. That'd make good pike bait right there.
Another largemouth. I'm gonna tie the salamander back on and I'm gonna try to catch something out of here with that bait for uh, maybe another half an hour. If I don't catch anything on the salamander, I'm gonna go to a different spot, probably a bigger dam. So that was uh, disappointing and fun, really. Uh, I really wish I pulled that smallmouth in, but um, caught some largemouth, some tiny, tiny juvenile largemouth, and some creek chubs. Uh, I'm gonna think of a much better spot to go now and uh, try to get something on the salamander. Got something. It took the jig out of the body. Dang it. Well, got a small mouth. Maybe I can put this back in here. Might have some life in it yet. <laughs> That's a bit better. I'm gonna put the gray one back on. So what did we get? I think we got a bunch of baby bass. I don't even know how many. I got a couple creek chubs. And then here at the river we got uh, one small mouth and another large mouth. So it's funny how much more you can catch with small practical lures. <laughs> I think tomorrow uh, Chelsea and I were going to go just to a creek and walk upstream and probably fish the little toad tadpoles some more. So, getting back to making some fancy wooden baits sounds really good though right now. Looking forward to next week. Keep the ideas coming, they really help. I write them down all the time. So thanks for uh, the inspiration. On to the next bait.